Welcome in that new Cape episode. Today I'm in the south of Morocco, in Dakhla, in my favorite club, which is Dakhla Attitude, one of the best view in the Laguna. Uh, if you still don't know the club, let me present it for you. Quick review of it, and uh, hopefully you will enjoy it as we did. Start a visit with the restaurant and the bar. Speaking of food, your diet may start at breakfast with delicious pancakes and an omelette. Later on, your menu will range from a Mediterranean salad bar to pasta, fresh grilled fish, or other more local meals. Next to the restaurant, Pink Flamingo Bar, which is a colorful and open space to relax and chill out, at least until the night comes. Nearby the restaurant, you'll come to the Dragon Camp, uh, which is composed of about 45 bungalows uh, split into uh, four floors. Most of the bungalows uh, consist of two people room uh, with a basic bathroom. The more you go up in the camp, the better your view on the Laguna will be. Next to the camp, you come to the beach bar, where you can discuss your last kite session, have a wind-friendly sunbath, or simply watch a peaceful kite ballet. The spot is wide, easy, and at high tide, you'll have a large playground within your depth. Make sure you don't come too close to the shore and stay above the flag to avoid wind gusts. Let's take a walk up to the moon Take your mind off, yeah, you should Come on, darling Follow me, you will see Coming back from your kite session, you can park your kite Easily switch from gear or change your clothes It's a sunny day It's so bright, it's so bright, it's so bright Wind Hunter is the second camp where accommodations are mainly similar to the Dragon Camp. The main differences are that you will have to walk more to get to the restaurant and the bar, and that the view on the Laguna might be less impressive. Let's come back now to the other side of the club, the, to the Dragon Camp, and have a look at the speed spot. Uh, the name says it all. Uh, it's a spot where you will be able to beat your speed record as it is flat. Going there is pretty easy. It's a 15 minute walk with your kiting gear, but pay attention to the following points. The enjoyable point there as well is that there are not so many people riding there and that most of the time very talented to pro kiters go there to train. So it will be a big free show while you kite.